Speaking of calling someone out, Arn Anderson has been consistently calling out Cody Rhodes week in and week out. Great and his segment. promos and his vignettes have been absolutely home runs. And this was another one. You know, Arn Anderson, you know, he was, you know, he picked up Cody and he's always, oh, he brought your camera crew. And then Cody gets confronted by the Nightmare Academy, the Nightmare Factory, and they're slapping him. They're taking jabs at him. But I like how Arn is, is having him get in the ring, get him back to basics. And, you know, Great um, segment. I like that. I like that he was getting to that, you know, Cody spitting blood and he's almost getting fed up with it. You know, what, what's up with this? What's up with this? Why am I doing this? And so the the storytelling with these promos to trying to get Cody out of this funk or Cody on, you know, his winning ways, as we're going to see very soon with Cody and Malachi Black 3, mm. which – there, if Cody doesn't win this, I, I think the build of this is it definitely has Cody going over, you know, beating Malachi Black. I think he's I he's earning it ways, with these feuds and he he's got to earn it with Aaron Anderson's trust. And I think ultimately Aaron will will call the the final shot play and then all will be restored with Captain Cody. It could go one of two ways. I mean, I, I think that uh Cody could could lose this match and if he does i could see him i mean obviously cody has said he's never turning heel but right. um i could see cody kind of snapping and, and throwing sort of like kind of going over the edge losing to malachi and, and then kind of flipping out after the match and throwing almost a tantrum and beating him down afterwards with a chair or something like that right um, but if you do go the more obvious route you have this training where Arn is kind of teaching cody Tap into you what your dad did. I mean, don't be afraid to, you know, iron sharpens iron, as we always talk about. Don't be afraid yeah. to bring your your dark, your your baddest self. Um, just because you want to be a role model uh, doesn't mean that you need to be a weak man. Sure. And I think that that's what he's trying to teach Cody here is, you know, these young fans that are looking up to you, they need to see this a strong Cody Rhodes. They need to see mm-hmm. a man who stands on his own two feet and when he gets – kicked in the face, punches the guy right back in the face. You know what I mean? They, right. they, we want to see Cody not back down. We need a strong Cody Rhodes. Um, and if that means he brings out more heelish tendencies, hey, man, all, all, why, I'm all for it. You know I'm fine with that, baby. I'm yeah, all, look I'm at good the shirt you're that. wearing. I'm, I'm good with that. So, um, <laughs> I, But I, I think that this is going to bring out the dark side of Cody. And, and maybe that is a literal thing. Maybe we see dark hair Cody come back. Right. You don't know. Um, but it, it's certainly for a feud that has been this one-sided, Arn Anderson's involvement has, has made this feel like must-watch stuff. Yeah, uh, from I the agree. Glock promo to this segment, absolutely fantastic. Um, I was waiting for QT Marshall to make an appearance in this pro in this segment. I was waiting for the factory to get involved um, because, I mean, honestly, it was Cody going back to his roots, man. Just getting just beaten down in a training session, really good stuff. Yeah, it was, and the, it's pure gold. And the build up to this is going to be nice. And I hope we get you know a road two uh for this match and this you know next dynamite and so we can lead up to this match plus follow the roads to the top uh season finale already on it but <laughs>